Hi guys, it's John. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you guys so much for watching this video today. I'm super excited to be back with you guys for another video. It's been a really difficult time just like trying to get back into the groove of doing like YouTube videos and even TikTok videos. I just haven't really been interested in social media that much recently. You know, I just felt more inspired ever since I got into the Birkin game and I figured I would share my passion with you guys and my love for the Birkin bag. So yeah, today I just wanted to come back on here and post another video for you guys because I did get a couple of new bags and I'm super excited to show you guys today. Okay, so let's get started with the video. So this is a dust bag that the bag came in. This particular bag came with an orange dust bag, which means that it's actually a very old bag. Um, it's vintage actually. And I'm just gonna do the grand reveal for you guys. Ta-da! This is a Birkin 35 and it's in this beautiful brown color. It kind of looks a little bit like a plum in some lightings, but it's actually a, this this uh, brown. And I don't recall what this leather is. Um, it's, I've actually never owned this leather before. It's kind of like Swift almost, but it's I don't think it's Swift at all. It's something else. Let me just show you guys up close. So this bat actually comes in this gorgeous silver hardware and it's actually barely been worn. So I'm not sure you guys can tell, but there's like hardly any scratches on it. The turn lock is, you know, pretty strong and sturdy still. So I'm just gonna open it up for you guys so you guys can see the bag. All right, so this is the logo. It says Hermes. Paris, made in France, of course. And then this is the middle plaque. And as you guys can see, it still has that sticker on from, um, from <laughs> fucking 18 years ago or something. Still has the sticker on it. And then this is the inside of the bag. I still have it stuffed. I have my Amazon bag organizer in there and then a couple, a couple of air air pockets in there as well. This bag is actually in excellent, excellent condition. Yes, it is worn. Yes, it is very slouchy, but this bag is 18 years old and that is to be expected. This is kind of how Hermes Birkin bags age. They kind of just like the leather, it just softens. It doesn't stand. Um, it becomes really smushy, which I love. I even love you guys. In my last video, I was talking to you guys about how I really wanted a brown or like a darker colored Birkin. And when this came up online, I just had to snatch it up and it was in really good condition. It's not like toe up from the flow up. It's like really, you know, in great condition. Now let me just model it for you guys and show you guys what it looks like on me. So, uh, by the way, I'm at home right now. I'm not dressed up or anything but I just figured I would show you guys what it looks like on my frame. But yeah, so I'm actually 5'9", and this is what it looks like on me. It's, you know, this bag is actually quite old, so it kind of gives it more of like this vintage look, which I really like. Uh, I don't know if you guys can see from that angle, but. So this is what it would look like if I toted the bag around. And I think it's just so nice. It's just, it's that perfect vintage look. And you can like stretch out the bag and have it pop out like that from the side. All right, so that's, this is what the bag looks like on me. So I actually acquired this bag from Japan and I got a really good deal on it. If you guys know anything about the Japanese market, they have a really awesome pre-owned market there. They have a really strict policy on authentic bags. I, I was eyeing this bag for a while online and when it came up, I literally put it in an offer and they accepted my offer. And I was super excited. It came and it went through eBay Authenticate. The reseller in Japan actually had to ship it to eBay Authenticate. And then eBay Authenticate basically went through their process, authenticated the bag. And then once it was deemed authentic, they actually did ship it out to me. And the whole process maybe took about a week for me to get the bag. So coming from all the way from Japan to the US, it took only a week. And the best part about this, you guys, is I didn't have to pay any customs fees. I don't know how the hell that happened because when I ordered a Kelly 
like a couple of years ago I had to pay like eight hundred dollars on that bag for custom but when this bag came I didn't have to pay a single dime so that was a huge shocker I really got a great deal on this bag and I'm just so excited about it so I don't know if you guys remember but this is kind of like a side note but for with my other bag the Gris Torturelle the handles were so soft like they were very very soft like almost like too frail and these handles are just much tougher much more strong so i'm super excited that, that these handles are not like weak and flimsy like the other one i plan on using this bag as my laptop bag and so because i got such a good deal on this particular bag i ordered another bag from them this is the kelly 35 um, i got such a good deal on this one too that i had to snatch this one as well so the thing about this bag is that this one is also very old i believe this is a 2005 i think this is a j stamp i'm not sure if you guys can tell but this is a j stamp i believe it's a 2005 and this is a stamp it does still have that sticker on there as well this one is in excellent condition it's barely any hardware scratches on the singles um on the, on the plaque as well the only issue with this particular bag is that it didn't come with a strap so i literally had to buy a strap and i just got this one from amazon the one that hermes makes isn't long enough for crossbody and i'm i'm a really tall person so i need a longer strap i do have an organizer in here as well i'll just take it out so i can show you guys the bag in all its glory but that's the inside of the bag literally no wear and tear just in excellent condition very clean whoever owned this bag before me like literally never used it like it's there's no corner wear at all the only issue is that it doesn't stand up on its own the, the previous owner just never never stuffed it so it ended up losing its shape got this bag organizer from etsy and i just like left leave it in there it stands up on its own now so you can wear it you can tote it around like this closing the singles a little bit and like tote it around like that or you can wear it crossbody which is what i have been doing a lot with this bag and yeah, so that this is my new Kelly bag, which I'm so excited about. I just really manifested this bag. You know, I've manifested both of these bags, you guys. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. I just wanted to come on here and show you guys my two new Hermes bags. And I'm just so in love. If you guys want to see how I style these bags, be sure to follow me on Instagram. I'm at John Superboy. And I am trying to post more Birkin TikTok videos on TikTok as well. So that's also at John Superboy. If you guys could follow me there, it would be greatly appreciated. Yeah, if you guys found this video helpful, be sure to give this video a like and don't forget to subscribe to my channel down below. I'll see you guys in my next video and I'll see you guys on my Instagram. All right, you guys. Bye. Mwah.